So I'm going to put um, in design view yeah, that's right, uh, this form. Okay, so now what I want to add, it's not letting me do it. I just press escape and then right because it wouldn't let me add one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bit of space here by dragging that down a bit here. And then I'm going to add a combo box. All right. Now, I'm trying to look for see the combo box there. That's text box. It's not bloody obvious, is it? There it is there. All right. So there's a combo box. So I click on that and then clicking it down there. Now, now up comes a pop up now. It says I want the, the comma box to get values from another table or query. Yes, I do, because it's going to go and get it from which table? The unit table. So it's going to get these values from the unit table. So I'm going to say, yes, I do. Next. Right. Then I select which table it comes from. It's in units. Click next. Now, the available fields. Now, even though I only want the unit ID, I'm going to get both of them. All right. If I can get it to display the unit name, so click next. Now, do you want to do? I don't want to do any sorting. I'm not bothered by that. And notice this this box here that comes up here. It says hide key column recommended. So what it's going to do is not even going to show me the ID. It's just going to display the unit name, but it's still going to store the ID. So I click next again. And this is the other bit that we do need to change. It says remember, no, I want to store the value in unit ID so because remember this this form, this table this form is based on no, this this form no, which way around is it the form is based upon the table remember and that has unit ID click next and I'm going to give it a name not combo CMB um, what should I call it unit so it's always it's always should you call it unit ID or unit name because it looked like a name but it will actually store the unit ID. So I'm going to call it unit ID and then click finish. All right. So if I put this back into normal view now, you can see it says unit 18 databases there and that corresponds to unit ID one. So when I come in, notice it's changing as I went through there. So if I add a new one now, so I could just say uh, implement a database uh, criteria um, D1, D2, whatever, and then I'm going to just select it. So it's databases. I can obviously make that wider, and then that's it. It's done. It's now saved it. Now, the nice thing about that was I didn't have to remember the IDs. Okay, is everyone clear about that? Okay, so that's that's how you do it. So I want you to do the same thing for form assignment, but also need to do it for other forms as well. Okay, that is it. Thank you.